It's a fight between good and bad. And the battleground is inside your body. We break it down into good cholesterol and bad cholesterol. So when you hear that your cholesterol is bad, we're usually talking about LDL, or um, which is the bad cholesterol. We want it to be low. And um, the good cholesterol is the HDL. We want it to be high. Physician's assistant Jesse Hollinger says a healthy person's LDL needs to be less than 130, while their HDL needs to be higher than 60. And the good cholesterol is really important, and we really strive for greater than 60 for that. Uh, because it helps get rid of the bad cholesterol. If a patient's LDL is too high or their HDL is too low, they're at risk for a stroke or cardiovascular disease. A lot of us have low HDL because we're not quite getting the activity that we need. But then on the flip side, I'm also seeing a lot of the higher bad cholesterol because, you know, we're eating at fast food restaurants or we're going out every weekend because it's just so convenient. Those with high LDL need to limit their red meat and dairy products and increase their exercise. Good cholesterol comes from exercise and um, genetics. Patients who have high LDL could also need medication to lower their cholesterol. You're not feeling that uh, your arteries are clogging up with plaque, which is uh, built from the cholesterol. Which is why it's important to establish yeah. annual checkups with your doctor. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Lindsay Fry. And that's good. Thank you very much. Okay.